Good afternoon from the Isle of Avalon, the heart chakra of the world. My name is B. Helligan. I am a priestess of Avalon and a priestess of Caridwen, and I facilitate and have created the course for the priestess of Caridwen. And the first thing I'd like to tell you about that course is that we are a singing order. We are a healing order but we're also a singing order because sound and singing for us is helpful for health. We sing our hearts large. We sing all blockages out of our voices and out of our throats. And we fill our bodies with the joy of vibration that is to do with sound. Sound healing is one of the most important parts of the course. I'm a very great um, advocate of sound healing and I do that work in Goddess House as a healer as well as teaching it to future priestess healers that are coming on the course here in Avalon. The priestesses of Caridwen are the death priestesses, but it doesn't necessarily have to do with physical death. It can be a death of a relationship, a death of an old self. There is a lot of change and transformation and transmutation going on in the course. Caridwen is the loving all mother of the Welsh mythology, but she also can be the kind of mother that says, Come on now, you know you can do that. I have faith in you. Why won't you have faith in yourself? People say to me, I don't know if I'm good enough to be a priestess. I didn't wake up one morning thinking, yeah, I'll be a priestess today, that would be great. It took 25 years of very hard work, of often fighting my own insecurities and my own unknowns. There's a lot of shadow that comes up when you do this work. You get put into positions, whether you like it or not, in your life when shadow of your own psyche comes up, when you are getting angry or frustrated or fed up with people and you don't know what it is about. And actually what it is, is it's about you. And that's not because you're a bad person. It's because there are things that need to be seen, need to be heard and need to be healed. And in the first spiral of Caridwen, you do that. You do the healing work for yourself. You put yourself first. You care for yourself. You care for your sisters and your brothers, but you care for yourself first. You investigate yourself. You are your last great adventure. To know yourself fully. And there is above the temple of Delphi, there is a sign saying know thyself and it's so important and Dr. Bach of whom we will be speaking a lot in the course said heal thyself and both of those things are mottos on the course know thyself and heal thyself for me it's really important that whatever happens whatever you decide to do with the training that I give you is that you come out of that training a new person a new version of yourself, a more confident, a more content, a more compassionate person. Somebody that people want to have around, somebody that people really rely on and want to ask for advice and wisdom. We also help you develop your psychic abilities. It's not mumbo jumbo. We all have them. We all have the sixth sense. We all have sensitivity. We all have intuition. It's just developing them into something more. Here we're calling ourselves seers or divination is another term for that. Whether you use cards or you use uh, scrying or you use dowsing, Anything like that, trance is, uh, is very popular, anything like that will help you develop your inner sense. And if you never use it for somebody else, 
having that ability to really feel into other people into situations that you are maybe faced with is very helpful in your life and the other thing that we do is drumming now i am not a drummer certainly not keith moon that's for sure but i love drumming and you're here to learn you're here to listen to your own heartbeat you're here to listen to that voice inside that says i can do more i can be more I can be, simply be, fully embodied in this life, knowing who you are, knowing what you can do. It makes a difference. And why the title priestess? Well, it's a function. It's a spiritual leadership. That doesn't necessarily mean that you walk around and tell everybody that you are a spiritual leader. People know that by looking at you. I hear from my students so often, you know, after they've started the training, do you know what happened to me? This person came up to me and they just started talking about their problems. They just felt that I was safe to speak to. And that's what we call sacred listening. Sacred listening is something that we do with people in Goddess House. That's something we do with people in the hospitals and the hospices. We sit with the patients who are dying, if that's what you wish to do. We sit with the families. We call the families after the death and make sure that they're okay. That's our part of what we do. And we also help people when they have other things that, are struggling, that they're struggling with things in their lives like a relationship breakdown um, we w we do help with resolution and resolving the ties that bind you to a person that is no longer in your life and we're not talking about tie cutting it's not really what we do we we dissolve them we let them go with love we let everything go with love it's really about what is important to you, who is important to you, and what do you need in your life. And you'll find that when you do the training, the, that your perspective shifts, that you become aware that there are important things in your life that you might have been missing, and that you have been chasing things that are actually not that important. And in this time, at this time with the virus, I think a lot of us are becoming far more aware of that. So for me, it's really an important part a really important part that you find your inner bliss, that you find your inner priestess, that you find your inner self that, that rises above everything. Only then can we go out and be what we want to be in society. And, you know, I didn't expect to be a healer. I didn't expect to be a teacher. I just follow the lady and follow goddess and follow Caledwin and they will show me what I need to do. And I trust that. And we say here, surrender and trust. And you might also have heard the terms with perfect love and perfect trust. And that's not in other human beings. It is in goddess. She won't stir you wrong. If you are meant to do what you, to come here and to learn it, it doesn't matter which course you take, but if you're meant to be here, you will be guided here and opportunities will arise. You know, you may think I haven't got the money right now. Well, it's funny. I said the same thing and look where I am today. It just became available. If Goddess feels that you are one of her children, one of her daughters, one of the priestesses that will stand in the world and recall her name and rebirth her, era then the opportunities will be given to you have no doubt so if you'd like to talk to me a little bit more about this about what we do then please just look underneath the video just click on my uh, links and and write me a note write me something tell me what's going on for you um, it's one of the things that we love doing is listening to people and solutions can always be found and we trust in the lady. So with all love and respect and with many, many blessings and hoping that you are well and safe where you are, I'll sign off now. Many blessings. 
from Avalon.